What is up guys, I'm Hunter Collins. Welcome back to another review video. And today we have a review on the True Glow Red Dot site. We put this scope through some use and now we're gonna tell you guys what we think about it. So let's jump into the video. All right guys, so real quick before we get too far into this video, I just wanna say that everything I mentioned in this video, this site and then some others kind of like it, comparables, will be linked down below in the description. So if you like anything at all that I mentioned or you're just interested and wanna learn more, I recommend go check them out. They'll be down in the description. This is not my gun. This is Elliot's gun. This is his site as well. But we went out the other day and I shot his some and he shot mine some. I have a little, this little tiny reflex sight and then he has this on his. We're just kind of messing around with, you know, the red dot theme. And I don't want to give this scope a bad review, but personally, I'm just going to go ahead and say straight out the gate, it's not my favorite. Now, I think this scope is somewhere between like $40 and $60. It just depends where you find it and everything, which isn't terrible for a gun sight. I mean, a lot more expensive options out there, like way more expensive. That's definitely on the cheaper end of things. But one thing that I noticed when, especially I was looking at my little reflex sight, it was like 20 bucks on Amazon. Find all kinds of them for around that same price. So I don't really want to say that One's cheap and one's not. I mean, I would say more or less they're all cheap until you get to like $100, $200. You know, we start getting into like the Vortex and just the nicer stuff. But this can be picked up for around, like I said, that $40 to $60 range. Just depending on what exactly you get and where you get it. So let's just go over the basis of the scope. First of all, the thing I don't like, it's pretty chunky. Like may not look that bad on camera, but in person it's pretty chunky. And then when you look through it, I mean, it's just, it's a very small line of sight. It doesn't feel very open to me. And then it just feels chunky on the gun. I don't know why Elliot said the same thing about it, but I do like the little pop-ups on it. I mean, they kind of, kind of get in the way, not really, but I mean, that just depends if you like that right there or not, which, I don't really mind. I just don't like how the overall thing is kind of big. And when it comes to like adjusting it, you know, you can unscrew this right here. Then you can unscrew there's one on the side. Um, windage and elevation, that way you can do that. So you can sight it in. Ellie and I hadn't tried to get this thing deadly, deadly accurate. But I doubt it would produce you an incredibly great group. I mean, if you put this thing in a lead sled and test it out, it'd probably shoot pretty good. But it's not going to give you, you know, a perfect shot every time. Especially something like this. You're usually not trying to shoot distance and accuracy with this. It's more kind of on the go. And I think it works very well for that. Like I said, personally, when I just look down it, I just feel like my field of view is blocked a lot. And, you know, it's just kind of hard to see and focus on the target. It also comes with two different light settings. It only has a red dot which also depends what you want, but personally, if I'm gonna get something, I'd rather have something that has you know, more options on it than exactly you know, one dot, that's it. But, it does come with two colors, red and green. So, the colors, I don't know, I mean, you can switch them back and forth, but personally, I like the red a lot better. The green, to me, is kinda of harder just to see in the day. Now, I don't know, why you would really use a, a red dot at night. But if you did, for hypothetically, you got a red dot at night, a red or green colored light, it might help to switch these back and forth. Maybe that would do you some good. I'm not really sure. But the one key thing I would say about this scope, it's not my favorite, just because it's kind of, you know, more expensive than other options that I think are better. Personally, I'm just not a fan of this type of scope, which kind of is biased, me giving this review. It's not like the worst scope ever. I just personally don't really care for these that much. But, so let's talk about the intensity of this light. It goes from one to five, and honestly, it's my least favorite part of this. Now, a lot of the things I mentioned about this are kind of just personal things. Just because I don't like this kind of scope, I mean, it does kind of feel chunky to me. I've felt other ones that just feel a lot smoother, like I can see better through them. But I would have to say that the intensity is the biggest flaw 
even when it's on like five, as high as it'll go, like midday, it's it's not the easiest to see. And I mean, you can see it. Like, don't get me wrong, it works just fine. But like, it could be a lot brighter. There's other ones I've used that do way better than that. And when this thing is on one, you can't see anything. Like, it's absolutely pointless on one. Like, unless you're in a pitch black situation, you can't see anything. So, I mean, I don't know how, like, like I said, when it's on five, you can see it. But personally, I think you can see out of some other ones better. But I mean, it works just fine. If this is the kind of thing you're looking for, I would recommend, you know, maybe looking for some other options. Just because personally, I mean, I just, I don't have the best feel for this one. I don't know if it's just the way it feels bulky to me or just intensities or what exactly it is. But if it's something you're interested in and it's in your budget range, I mean, it's not the worst, especially if you like these kind of scopes. Give it a try. But personally, I would say look around some. You know, maybe find, if you're, if you're looking for a budget scope anyways, maybe find one of these that's like 20 bucks and try it out. Or look for ones that maybe have different settings with maybe instead of two different colors, maybe it has different reticles. Or maybe instead of, you know, it being this big, maybe it's, you know, half the size. Like, but look around some. That's what I would recommend. I'm going to link several different ones down in the description. All going to be budgets of the same kind of scope. But I'm going to find some ones that are a little different here and there. So if you want to go check them out, you can definitely do that. But once again... If this is a fun gun, like I always say, go with the budget. Now, if you're if you're really, really into shooting, or maybe you're doing some action tournament or something where you need to be quick and on target, I, I wouldn't go for this. But if you're just watching this video to see if it's worth it to buy a cheap budget scope, especially like a red dot that you're just one, going to have fun with, two, you're just getting into the sport, or three, this is three, not two, three, you want to learn more about it, highly, highly recommend. Get you a budget one, learn about it, play with it, get used to it, and then maybe a few years into your shooting journey, you can get one that suits you a lot better. Because if you go out and waste $200 on one, and, you know, comes out a year later, you know, you like this other kind better, then you could have easily went around that and had the one you wanted to now instead of buying that one a few years ago. So I would recommend check this out, check the other ones out in the description, research a little more about it. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap this review video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing as well. If you haven't done that, please go ahead and do that. It means so much to me and also helps the channel grow. And when the channel grows, it allows us to bring more of this stuff to you guys. You know, that's the whole point of me doing these videos is when I go to buy something, I want to know if it's worth it or not. Like, I don't want to get something that doesn't work or isn't what I expected. So I really hope to bring that to you guys. Really hope you get a lot out of these videos and you can really tell, you know, exactly what you want to spend your money on. That's the main goal. Regardless, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. We'll catch you guys next time. Plenty of content to come. Stay tuned and as always, take someone outdoors.